Hello and welcome back to the channel. This channel is sponsored by my bank account, which my bank manager is not happy about because all I do is buy books, colour and supplies. Marilyn Monroe. And he's not happy. No, anyway, <laughs> that was just a joke. This is not sponsored at all. This is a TBR of what I'm hoping to read in April. So, first of all, I have started reading this. This is just the cover because I've taken it off the hardback. The the um, Memoirs of Cleopatra. It's a massive book, as you can see <laughs> from the spine. Uh, it's, it doesn't say, what does it say? Uh, a tale of, it, it's uh, told in first person from the young queen's earliest memories of her father's tenuous rule to her own reign over one of the most glittering kingdoms in the world. It's a mesmerising saga of ambition and power and, of course, passion. Um, yeah, so I'm a big ancient Egypt fan. I love anything to do with Egypt. So that's why I got this. Uh, it was 50p down at the old uh, Tesco's charity book sale thing. And it's been hanging around for ages. I have started it. It's downstairs. My Stephen King for the month is Salem's Lot, the story uh, of a small New England town where a man returns to write a novel and exercise the terrors that he had while he was living in the lot years ago. I only to find that people are disappearing. I do believe it's vampires, so real vampires, not sparkly vampires, real evil vampires, not sparkly ones. <laughs> that is definitely on the list for this month. Um, yeah, so that's that one. I really want to read Peter James' The Secret of Cold Hill. You would have seen this in my haul video. And just reading the thing makes me want to read it. So I'm hoping to, to read that one. These are the ones I'm going to definitely be reading. Uh, my classic, which I had here earlier. Oh, no, I don't know where it is. Here it is. It's a very boring cover. I am going to be reading Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I have not read this book. I've read a few lines at the beginning and I thought, yeah, I'm going to enjoy that. That looks good. So this is a nice penguin, penguin one with a blue cover, as you can see. So that's going to be my, it's a modern classic, so it's going to be my classic for the month. I do have other classics that I will be pulling shortly for future months, but so far, looking forward to that one. Um, obviously, I have started reading Goddess, so I'm going to con continue with that, just because that's part of my Marilyn reread. But because I'm going, to, I'm going to be reading um, The Catcher in the Rye, I'm going to follow The Catcher in the Rye <laughs> with the last days of John Lennon. The assassination that changed a generation. Because, of course, Mark David Chapman, who killed John Kennan, uh, John Kennan, Lennon, was carrying and had him autograph he was carrying a copy of Catcher in the Rye. He was reading it when he murdered him. So I want to read that and then see that. See this. I hope there's no horrible photographs in here of poor John after his death. No. Yeah, there's just a picture of um, of John Lennon and, and Mark David Chapman when he signed an autograph for him that night at the Dakota Building. So I'm going to put that one on. Then Paul can have it. Is there anything else? Yes, the other one book I want to try and read this month is the Peter May book, The Critic. This is the second of the Enzo McLeod investigation cold case series that Paul got me with Jennifer for Mother's Day. So these are the ones I'm definitely going to try and hit this month. And that is one, two, three, four, five, that's six, seven books. Now I read last month 18, which you'll be seeing in my wrap up. So should I do that? What other ones do I want to read? Anything off of my massive TBR. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. Um, potentially, I might try and, and, and read this just for the crack. Because, you know, it'd be funny. This is by Love Reclaimed about Jean Harlow's reincarnation coming back with the reincarnation of her dead husband to clear his name of suicide. I love these books, they, so they just make me laugh. What is good in here, it does have uh, photographs from the collection of Darrell Rooney, the Darrell Rooney archive. Now Darrell Rooney is one of the writers of the, the book Harlow in Hollywood. So from that, and there's a new version of that coming out this year as well, so look out for that. I'll be out there, uh-huh, mm, mm. Excuse me, I think I hear the bank manager call in. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my pretty much TBR for the month because I don't want to put too much on me because um, obviously the Cleopatra book is massive, Goddess is massive. Um, 
John Lennon's probably going to be quite hard to read and quite sad. So I, I know I will read more than that. So yeah, that's it. That's what I plan to be reading in the month of May. May already. Oh.